Hey MLK Fifth, I'm back in your garden today for our last look at it for the fall. So we're just gonna go around, check up on everything, and talk about how we settled the garden down for winter. Looking at our garden, there's a few things you can see right away. We have hay on our beds, and we have our hoop house grow. And we have our hoop house up and growing with plants inside. All of the beds are kind of settled down. A lot of them have hay growing on them, and a lot of them also have a plant called winter rye. This winter rye as a cover crop for our off season. It'll grow and keep our soil together with its roots, but it'll also stop winter weeds from coming up and make sure our beds are healthy and ready to go when we get planting in the spring. Over in our garlic bed, we do have some garlic that we planted this fall shooting up. This garlic will be ready to harvest in the middle of next summer. So it's growing now, it'll lie dormant for the winter, and then we'll be able to harvest it come July. We also have our spring bulbs planted, ready to sprout up when spring comes so we know that we're getting out of winter. I'm really excited to see these guys when they come up. Even though the garden is slowing down in the winter, it still has a lot of beautiful things. Look at the way the water is resting on our lamb's ear. Finally, our rotting logs are still doing their thing, rotting away day by day. The winter garden is really pretty. It's still got a lot going on, but we're not gonna see it for a few weeks. So I wonder if it'll change in the time that we're gone. Today, we're gonna be talking more about food webs and where our food comes from. And this summer, so much food came from this garden. And we still have some food growing in our hoop house behind me. While food is growing in this garden, I wonder where it's getting that matter, how our food grows. I know when I eat food, I get matter from what I'm eating, but our plants don't eat. So I'm wondering where do plants get their matter from? We know they get their energy from the sun, nutrients from the soil, but where does matter come from? We'll talk about that a little bit more. Bye everyone.